Jimmy Gutsch, Kijimana Do, Jimmy Gutsch, Mino Pamatsuan, Jimmy Gutsch, Mino Gijiga, Jimmy Gutsch, Pingish Maki, Wedna, Jawano, Wabano, Jimmy Gutsch, Gode, Nebe, Aki, Minma Noden, Nadamushin, Kijimana Do, Nadamushin, Gigato, the Bewen, Nadamushin, Gizagin, Kijimana Do, Gizagin, Shwakamakle. Jimmy Gutch, Kinegago, Gijimanado. My English name is um, Candace Day Nevue. And I just wanted to highlight that in my Anishinaabe uh, language is a, uh, a barrier. I seen that your um, focus was on languages. And if I was fluent in my language um, and can only speak it, I wouldn't be able to understand any of the um, the information. <clears throat> so I wanted to say how important that is to me as an Anishinaabekwe to highlight that point because uh, there are people that can't understand French or English. Um, and I'm proud of that because of what colonization has done. So it's inaccessible to Indigenous people. I wanted to um, honor my ancestors' fight. We've been saying no for the past 500 years to all of these developments. So I wanted to honor them as I speak today and, and their long, hard fight against colonialism. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to highlight the fact that um, these court proceedings, these uh, CNSC and uh, Chalk River is um, conducting in an illegal way because you're legally obligated to legitimize indigenous worldview in these hearings, in your decision making. When I look around, there is no indigenous representation in this room, zero. Um, I see, I see uh, symbols of the crown, I see the Canadian flag, but there is zero um, representation of who we are in any of these proceedings or what anyone has to say. <clears throat> and I wanted to say how um, you are breaking the law because with our treaties that were made with your queen throughout history, you're supposed to be having integrity while working with indigenous people. And this is just downright uh, unacceptable and unaccountable to the fact that this isn't um, conducted in respects to indigenous people at all. So I'm here to voice that and I'm here to say that you know, you have you have a responsibility to include um, our voices when it comes to such um, dangerous material. You know, because what I see is I see an illegal uh, government settler government making decisions here on Turtle Island. You know, and I see uh, people from around the world here in my home talking about how they're going to poison lands where my children are meant to be and be healthy. You know, this is our home, and you're here to poison it. I see in those young leaders, young nuclear leaders that want to carry on with this work. The one lady said she wants to leave a mark on this world. You know, Go back to your own country and leave your mark there. This is just, it's just like, while young people, young indigenous people are taking their lives, you know, there's young people here in, on Turtle Island, you know, that are continuing to the trauma, continuing with uh, the colonization, you know, that this is, this is the biggest act of colonization that I've seen in a long time. It's just so important to think, to know that um, my roots as an indigenous person go very deep, deeper than all of yours here. You know, so I have every right to oppose this. Um, and I was just with Justin Trudeau in the teepee on Parliament Hill on July 1st, and he had told me 
that we need to work together to deconstruct um, colonial these colonial structures, but that's a lie. And I want to say that if this license is granted to Chalk River, it's a direct confirmation that colonialism is still alive and it exists and Justin Trudeau is just full of shit, you know? And so I wanted to say that I oppose the 10 year license and I want to highlight how important our worldview is in these decisions and proceedings, you know, and you have to honor that. There's no, no indigenous people up there. There's no indigenous people here in this facility, you know, and we, our rights here on Turtle Island go further than any of yours here. With our worldview, you're breaking the natural law. That's the law that indigenous people follow here, you know. So you're, this is actually a big lawsuit. Our natural law, our understanding from our original instructions were that <coughs> the uranium is uh, serpent medicine and you're supposed to keep it in the ground and never touch it because that was sacred and human beings didn't know how to properly handle that medicine. And if you look at how dangerous it is, you can understand why we were given those simple instructions. The decision making um, that is made here, you can tell there's no indigenous, um, zero indigenous uh, guidance or indigenous consultation and that the United Nations declarations uh, on indigenous peoples state uh, in Article 29, states shall take effective measures to ensure that no storage or dispo disposal of hazardous materials shall take place on lands or territories of indigenous peoples without their free, prior, and informed consent. So this consent is not informed. And no, I want to make sure that people know that I'm not consenting, I am opposing this, um, this 10 year license renewal because it's, it's, it's just like gotten out of hand how, you know, how we have to constantly be fighting for feeling safe. You know, this is just inhumane. Why do we have to fight so hard to feel safe, you know? And I'm taking time out of my life. I'm not getting paid for this. I have children that I have to be taking care of, but I have to come here, you know, and fight to feel safe because of the the legacy that the nuclear is going to leave behind, you know? So our people, we look at seven generations behind and seven generations ahead. So in the future, my my children, you know, they deserve every, they f deserve to feel safe. They deserve to feel free, you know, but this is taking, this is robbing them of that, of feeling safe. So I wanted to say um, that if this license is granted, then it goes against everything that the Truth and Reconciliation Commission is saying, and this is direct act of colonialism. Miigwech.